जय श्री कृष्णा जय श्री रामचंद्र जय श्री लक्ष्मी नरसिम्हा टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द ग्लोबल सिचुएशन ऑफ 2021 एंड व्हाट इट मींस फॉर द होल वर्ल्ड मेनी इकोनॉमिस्ट्स वर टॉकिंग अबाउट 2021 एज द ईयर फॉर रिकवरी कंसीडरिंग ऑल द वैक्सीनेशन एटसेट्रा व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन बट आई बेग टू डिफर आई डिसएग्री विद दैट एंड आई बिलीव 2021 इज गोइंग टू बी अ वर्स ईयर देन 2020 इन सम एस्पेक्ट्स एंड अ बेटर ईयर देन 2020 इन सम अदर्स I'm going to talk with a lot of astrological phenomena involved so let me begin now so basically i believe the present crisis that we are facing in india is due to two reasons the first one is that we have interfered with nature too much we are resorting to all sorts of unnatural treatment methods this includes drugs vaccination etc in order to reduce the pandemic or treat the pandemic but i believe that this is not the way to treat the pandemic Let's have an example. That's the United States, the country that spends the most money on pharmaceutical companies, the country that has the highest saturation of the pharmaceutical companies, obviously, and the country that got vaccination the uh, the first. I mean, one of the countries which got COVID nineteen vaccination first, and also one of the countries with the fastest COVID nineteen vaccination program. What did we get out of this? Five lakh new deaths even after vaccination. Well. so this is what is happening worldwide the countries which propose completely unnatural methods of treatment are just suffering the most the people of those countries are suffering the most so i believe the more we go away from nature the more we are going to be battled uh, and the more the more mother nature will trouble us day by day and the more our own sins will be coming back on us we need to realize our mistakes we need to come back to our age old system of ayurveda the very reason why indians have low mortality rates indians chinese people etc is because they have resorted to their traditional medicinal systems for example china the chinese people have resorted to tcm traditional chinese medicine and in india we have a very good immunity using ayurveda in every single kitchen unknowingly or knowingly everyone is using ayurveda we need to bolster up these efforts we need to get up early in the morning do surya namaskara breathe in the fresh air not locked down inside our homes closing all the windows and suffocating ourselves that's not the solution for this world we need to start respecting mother nature we need to start doing surya namaskara every day early in the morning we need to expose our bodies to the sunlight the divine sunlight which protects us from all sorts of germs and this is being reinforced every single day we need to build up our body with natural herbs uh we need to increase the strength of our body which will help in disease resistance even if it doesn't cure covid 19 it will help us in disease resistance because if i make a link between ayurveda and curing covid 19 this video may be taken down even if it has all the proof for it so i'm not going to make that link but certainly i can say that ayurvedic herbs if you grow them at home and if you use them they can help you strengthening your body which is key to surviving any sort of disease be it tuberculosis covid-19 or any disease so i believe that basically 2021 is influenced by the second factor and the second factor is this it is the planetary conjunctions that that we have seen in the last few days of 2020 and the first few days of 2021 the last few days of 2020 saw the great conjunction the great conjunction was a very very major event that occurs once in 400 years this close of course it occurs every 20 years but this one was once in 400 years it was so close with jupiter and saturn and this is going to influence centuries together so i will explain about this in another video in a detailed manner what industries are going to be disrupted by this particular conjunction but let's come back to the present fact that is that jupiter and saturn's conjunction and the subsequent six body conjunction in february 2021 have led to the present situation we are going through in april in mid february we had the six body conjunction and then immediately in just 10 or 15 days a new strain might might have begun in india even if it's not a new strain the the spread of the strain has increased but at the same time it's not too late we need to resort to ayurvedic practices as i mentioned we need to start detoxing our body from the toxins we've been consuming and injecting into ourselves for the past many months and we need to start becoming more brave we need to start exposing ourselves to the sunlight as i mentioned and we need to come out of our homes and breathe in fresh air i don't mean crowding but coming out of the house and breathing in fresh air in your own terraces is a good thing to do so yes these are some things that i would advise for 2021 but overall let me present the next few months for 2021 uh 
I would like to refer to one of my videos made on the 23rd of January 2021. Now I would like to talk about the predictions uh, for 2021 and 2022 and I would like to comment on the present situation. So basically as I've already mentioned there are two reasons for what we are facing today. One is the entirely unnatural approach in managing the pandemic that is being done worldwide. We are just relying completely on unnatural methods, thus further worsening the pandemic. Unnatural methods, according to me, are relying and using vaccination, which has a lot of different chemicals and does not even guarantee that it is that it can work in most cases, like for example, in different variants. Most vaccinations don't work for all different variants and there's not yet scientific research that can help us understand whether, uh, you know, the, the new vaccines can even foster the development and the evolution of newer dangerous variants. So there, there are several doctors who have researched on this, which I would like to append links of, but there is a lot of uncertainty around the vaccine and it points out towards a negative future for the world. So I believe that there's a lot of problems with the way we're dealing uh, with this pandemic. And uh, second of all, the second reason is the great conjunction, astrologically, the great conjunction we had with Jupiter and Saturn meeting, in, uh, that was the closest in 400 years. Uh, this is one of the important reasons. And I made this video on uh, the 23rd of January, uh, which you can just visit by, um, by just typing out the title of this video. The past, present, and the future, Abhigya. You can just search for that on YouTube. And I'll also append the link below. So this can help you uh, know about the past, the present, and the future. And how it's just according to the astrological cycles. How it's just happening just according to astrological cycles. So the first thing was we had a Jupiter and Saturn great conjunction in the month of December. Last few days of December. To be precise, around starting 20 to 21 December in most places around the world. And then it stayed on for a week in a very close situation. And then we had the next one in just a gap of three months in February. Uh, I would say just a gap of two months, a little bit more. In February, we had a hysteric conjunction again of six different planets in the same sign. Not exactly planets, but bodies, celestial bodies in the same sign of Capricorn. So we had these two important events located in Capricorn. And I believe that has fueled it. And mid-February is actually the start of the second wave. But people in India were not knowing that. India was all jubilant in February. We thought everything's going to get better and everything's going to become, you know, we get, we're getting back to normal with vaccines, but it was opposite. Once the vaccinations came and the yogas, the planetary yogas came together, we're actually experiencing something absolutely different to what we expected it to be. And astrologically, I've mentioned in this video the exact the exact situation that you can have a look at. So Jupiter and Saturn, they first meet. And then during that time, if you see, January was actually the worst month for COVID-19, preceded by the Great Conjunction. And this shows 100% proof of how Jupiter and Saturn interaction work. And uh, basically, mid-February uh, 2021, presents a planet parade, which, are, which, which many, many astronomers could call a planet parade, with more focus on the effects for 2021. This event that we had in the skies in mid-February has effects on 2021, as I mentioned in this video. And next, the world may get worse, and maybe this shows the damage caused by vaccines and newer strains due to a compromised immunity and adverse planetary interaction. So this is the most significant phase, and I have believed since April 2020, that things are not going to get better until 2022, May, or even after that. It, on recovery signs will just begin November 2021, and people will start be, being able to see the recovery only after 2022, May. Recovery in the sense not exactly uh, with the disease, because the COVID-19 disease has been worsened by all sorts of unnatural methods, so we can't expect it to get better very soon. So... Um, so basically, I don't believe the disease is going to go away very soon because of the way we have, you know, damaged, damaged uh, the, you know, we have, we have mismanaged the system and we have not, we have not taken care of our own bodies by using unnatural methods all the time. People popping pharmaceutical medicines, all these things are negative signs for the whole world and people taking drugs on self-prescription or prescription or whatever it is 
and no one is just looking back towards their roots. The, our roots are in Mother Nature. We need to get back to the in, intrinsic nature of our birth, of our of our future. Everything lies in Mother Nature. We need to get back to her. We need to revive the ancient methods of Ayurveda. We need to start using it. I'm not talking about a pill in Ayurveda or a or a medicine, just a bottle in Ayurveda. I'm talking about the Ayurvedic lifestyle. And an Ayurvedic lifestyle can empower a person to be more powerful physically, emotionally and mentally in order to fight any disease, be it COVID-19 or tuberculosis, any disease to a larger extent. So if I make the, if I make the statement that Ayurveda can help curing COVID-19, which is according to me, it's possible. But if I make that statement in this video, then this video might be taken down. But what I believe is that at least... One thing is certainly proven. The stronger your body is, the chances of dying from COVID-19 or any disease are lower. And Ayurveda helps us in that journey of making our body stronger. So basically, this is what I mentioned for 2021. The world may get worse and maybe this shows the damage caused by vaccines and newer strains combined. And this is due to a compromised global immunity. We're not having good global immunity. And... Um, while 2021 will show us days more worse, we can expect 2022 to be calmer, though not very great for the world. So, with a deep gash that the last one year has given us, 2020 and even 2021 will give us deep gashes, uh, we can't expect things to get better overnight. It takes time. And uh, astrologically, the conjunctions will start slowing down and therefore economic recovery is the most expected form of recovery. I don't believe that things with the disease are going to get better the way we have handled it unnaturally with all the different systems I've mentioned. But uh, at the same time, I do believe that financially and economically, we can get better after 2022. 2022 may be a little bit more better for us and the whole world to an extent. Visible signs of recovery will only begin after May 2022. And one more thing I would like to mention very clearly about this, which is one of the most important portions of this video, is basically about the June 20th, 2021. Jupiter is retrograding back into Capricorn. Uh, and I don't believe that, as, as some experts are talking about May as the peak of this particular situation, I believe, no, it might continue even further. And uh, after June 20th, 2021, I don't think it will be very easy to get recovery. And uh, September, again, the, the disease might peak up in September, October because Jupiter will enter Capricorn finally. And starting June 28, 2021, Jupiter is retrograding back towards Capricorn. And uh, then uh, in September, he's actually entering Capricorn fully. So we could expect another wave or another peak in uh, October, September 2021. Uh, you could say, yes, October, uh, no, yeah, around September, October 2021. And slow, slow, invisible signs of recovery starting November 2021 and uh, visible signs of recovery starting May 2022. So this is what I believe. So um, apart from that, uh, commenting on the investments that one should do during this year, I believe that the investment portfolio should be kept risk-free. That's when one can survive the high tides we are having in this particular situation. One can invest in gold. One can invest in stable financial assets like agricultural land. One can invest in, because agricultural land and open space, open land is, a, is, is one of the most important things we need to look forward to in the future. And uh, also other, other sorts of properties, except those that stack up like apartments. I don't believe apartments are holistic in any way. They can only cause us more problems. Uh, the way we are seeing it now, lockdown after lockdown, those living in apartments, they are the most, you know, you know, they are actually the people who are most likely to get all sorts of infections. Because when they close their windows, most of the apartments don't have access to sunlight. And most of the apartments do not even, uh, you know, uh, allow you to have a connection with Earth, Mother Earth. And most of the people are locking themselves inside. I absolutely, I absolutely discourage shutting ourselves down in small rooms that can just increase the the condition that we're already facing from today so yes investing in anything that's open space when it comes to real estate and investing in gold when it comes to a stable financial asset is what i suggest many people have asked me to comment on cryptocurrencies but it's actually too early to comment on that because we have very less astronomical data 
cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin, the most important one, and a few others which have arrived now in the market, are actually very, very new to the financial markets. But till now, it's followed the astrological conjunctions. For example, when Jupiter and Saturn came together, starting November, we saw the biggest rally. I would just like to add a note of positivity here, which is from a very beautiful Sanskrit verse from the Paladipika, an ancient astrological text. And this particular verse has a lot of meaning for today's, for today's present condition. And uh, it is a very beautiful one, which I would like to recite here. Ahimsa kasya dantasya dharma arjita dhanasya cha sarvada niyamasthasya sada sanugraha graha the planets and other celestial and astronomical bodies always affect all of us, which is the truth, which has been proven repeatedly again and again. But these particular planetary radiations that affect us every single minute do not affect people who are non-violent, who, who take immense care not to harm people and animals and other brothers and sisters created along with them by the Supreme Lord, who take utmost care not to harm any of these, who are self-restrained all the time and who do not commit bad activities, and ones who, who earn money through fair means and who make sure that they follow all the rules and regulations that have been laid down by our spiritual scriptures that have been you know, mercifully given out to us by our sages. The people who follow these four conditions are not affected severely by the planetary radiations. The planets are always very kind to them and merciful to them. And they are very gracious to them also. So I would request you all to just imbibe the meaning of this verse. We all need to do that in our own lives. And that's the only way we all can reduce the effects of the present conditions we are suffering from. Of course, scientifically, we will need to imbibe a lot of other things, including Ayurveda and, and an Ayurvedic lifestyle. But on the spiritual side, this is the most important step. We all need to have faith in God. We all need to be good people from within and from without. We need to express our our gratitude to God and we need to share whatever we get with people who cannot, cannot get it. Thank you. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Ramachandra. Jai Shri Lakshmi Narasimha.